I'm Kyle Rakowski, born and raised in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm the owner of Highline European. When I was a kid, I was infatuated with cars. My grandfather used to tell me that I would change the wheels on toy cars, putting them on different cars, switching the wheels and trying to create different images of cars. As I grew older, I knew that I wanted to be more involved with cars. So in high school, I joined a trade school. This trade school got me an internship at the Scottsdale Porsche dealership. At the Scottsdale Porsche dealership, I rapidly escalated from lube tech technician to technician. Before I knew it, I was tearing apart cars that I had only dreamed about as a kid. Working with the Porsche racing team got me side by side with the Ferrari challenge team. Now I was no longer working on Porsches. I was also involved with Ferrari racing, which was beyond any part of my dream of working on cars as a kid. Once I was involved with the Porsche racing team and now was involved with Ferrari, I knew that there was more to what I wanted out of life. Helped me define that I wanted to work on exotic cars as a career. So no longer was I thinking about changing the wheels on my toy cars. I was changing the wheels on my dream cars. Then 2008 happened and I lost my job because I was the highest on the ladder and the first to fall. I was left with $800 in my pocket and I was stuck with the dilemma of paying rent or buying a project car. The child in me had to have the car. So I bought a car, I fixed it up, I sold it. I was forced with a decision, do I pay rent with the proceeds or buy another car? I found a deal and bought two cars. Sold one, paid rent, got caught up on rent and had another car to sell fixed that one up, sold that, and started the, basically the snowball. I was fixing and restoring cars out of my garage, which I know my neighbors hated, but I really didn't care what the neighbors thought. This was my life, this was my dream. I finally reached a point where my snowball would no longer fit in my two-car garage. I was forced to find a shop, my own shop, which was scary to say the least. Once I had my shop, I needed to figure out how to fill it so that I could pay my rent and feed myself. A small car dealer came up to me and asked me if I was interested in doing some reconditioning for them. At that point, I didn't have a large influx of customers, so I did the work. I was able to save this dealer several thousand dollars on one car. I quickly developed a reputation amongst a network of small independent dealers that I was able to recondition and repair their exotic cars at a a fraction of the dealer's cost. I was finally able to bring everything that I had learned at Porsche racing, Ferrari racing into my own store. And it worked. The snowball went out of control. My reputation blew up. I mean, people that I had never heard of their dealerships were sending me cars. Rolls Royce, Bentleys, Ferraris, Lamborghinis. They just came in droves. My parking lot was Full. At one point, there were so many cars, I could have stacked them to the moon and back. People would drive through the parking lot and constantly were taking pictures of cars that they probably have never even seen except for on TV. And my parking lot was full of them. This was my job, was working on all of these exotic cars. Talk about a dream come true. So I quickly outgrew this small first shop and needed to expand because I didn't have any more space. They kept coming car after car, transporter after transporter. So because I had this niche market of doing wholesale repair, I didn't need a storefront. I didn't need a waiting room. I could have worked in a warehouse or an airplane hangar. So I rented an airplane hangar. An airplane hangar has got a lot of space. It's easy in, easy out, and I could move the volume of cars in and out. I quickly filled the one hangar, then rented the hangar next to it. I had so many small dealers bringing me cars that I needed annex space. Rapidly, I outgrew the hangar. It was inevitable. My reputation had followed me and people kept sending me cars. Not only was I in a hangar, but another small independent dealership was in a hangar too. Luxury Auto Collection had the same problem I did. They went from one hangar 
to two to overflowing in the street, just like I did. I was talking to the owner of Luxury Auto Collection. He informed me that they were moving to a new location. I told him that my lease was up and I needed to expand as well. So he put me in contact with the realtor in which he had the dealer being built and I had my own space built for me. Now I was no longer looking for a place that fit my needs. I was having a place built for my needs which brought my dream to another level. In times of need or times of desperation, you can never forget your dreams. My dream wasn't to be a wholesale repair facility. My dream was to be surrounded and work on these cars. My dream became something that I created. If you have a dream and your dream is to go to college, by all means, go to college. But if your dream is to fulfill a passion, go towards your passion, live in your passion. Life is too short to be doing something that you're not passionate about.